uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm going to present a revised and strengthened EU Roma strategic framework for equality, inclusion and participation, which was adopted by the European Commission very recently on October the 7th. And I will try to focus particularly on the health related part. Uh, slide, please. I will start my presentation by briefly recalling some facts and figures about Roma people in Europe. Uh, then I will continue with the COVID-19 impact on the Roma communities. I will speak about objectives and targets of the new strategic framework. And uh, I will conclude with some important novelties of, the new, uh, of, the, of this new initiative. Slide, please. As we all know, Roma are an integral part of Europe's society and economy. However, uh, many Roma people face socioeconomic exclusion, discrimination and uh, anti-gypsism in their daily lives. And uh, these are also social determinants of poor quality health of uh, many Roma people. Let me to quote just a few examples. Uh, as you can see uh, in the graph, four out of every five Roma are at risk of poverty and the situation with Roma children uh, is, uh, is even worse. Share of Roma people in housing deprivation is 61% and share of Roma people with access to tap water is only 80% compared to 98% in the general population. Slide please. With regards to discrimination, a Eurobarometer report from May 2019 specifies the share of respondents who consider that anti-Roma discrimination is widespread in their countries uh, uh, at 61%. And this uh, makes Roma the group against whom discrimination is most pervasive across the EU. Slide, please. The situation when it comes to the life expectancy uh, uh, difference between uh, Roma and non-Roma is also alarming. Roma women live, as it was already mentioned, 10.4 uh, years less and Roma men live 10.2 years less compared to uh, non-Roma. Unfortunately, progress over the last years has been, uh, has been limited or, uh, or minimal. Slide, please. I would also like to underline that the COVID-19 pandemic has uh, had a particularly severe effect on marginalized Roma communities, overcrowded households and the lack of access to healthcare, clean water, regular income or financial resources are just some of the factors increasing the vulnerability of uh, Roma in uh, the crisis such as COVID-19. Additionally, the midterm socioeconomic impact of the pandemic puts Rom put Roma communities at risk of uh, sliding further into these inequalities. And at the same time, the use of uh, restrictive measures aiming to prevent uh, public health has sometimes reinforced discrimination and uh, even violence uh, against marginalized Roma. Slide, please. Yeah. So when preparing the new EU Roma strategic framework, we have taken into account the conclusions of an in-depth evaluation of the EU framework for national Roma integration strategies up to 2020. While this evaluation clearly showed the previous framework's EU added value, it also demonstrated that its ambition of putting an end uh, to the exclusion of Roma has not yet been achieved. Its conclusions attest to a clear need for a long-term commitment at all levels, at EU level, national level, regional, and also local levels, in order to achieve uh, um, sustainable progress and sustainable uh, positive changes. I would also like to point out that the EU Agency for Fundamental Rights has been an important partner in the preparation of this new framework, uh, uh, fundamental Rights Agency, or shortly FRA, has developed a set of equality and inclusion indicators and it is conducting uh, regular service which will be an important source of information in monitoring progress up to 2030. Slide please. 
While the previous framework, uh, which is coming to the end now, uh, was focused primarily on social and economic inclusion of marginalized Roma communities, this uh, new strategic framework sets out a comprehensive free pillar, pillar approach for the next 10 years. So social and economic inclusion of marginalized Roma is, is complemented by promoting equality and fostering active participation. The framework thus aims to give all Roma the opportunity to realize their full potential and engage in political, social, economic, and, and cultural life. Slide, please. Uh, the new strategic framework has got seven objectives. Uh, first one is fighting and preventing anti-gypsism and discrimination. Then it's reducing poverty and exclusion to close the socioeconomic gap, promoting participation through empowerment and trust, better access to mainstream education, better access to sustainable employment, of course, be of course better access, uh, better health and access to healthcare and better access to desegregated housing. For each of these seven objectives, the new strategic framework proposes two or three uh, quantitative headline targets, and these targets are associated to indicators which will allow uh, effective monitoring and measuring the progress achieved. I also would like to emphasize that these targets express uh, the minimum progress that we want to achieve by 2030. Our long-term aim uh, remains to, ens to ensure effective equality and fully close the gap between Roma and the general population. Uh, slide, uh, next slide, please. So I can give you some uh, uh, examples of these e EU targets uh, by 2030. Uh, with regards to equality, the new strategic framework aims to cut the proportion of Roma experiencing discrimination by at least half, or in the area of inclusion, it aims to reduce the poverty gap uh, by at least half. It also aims to ensure that at least 95% of Roma have access to tap water. It aims to cut the life expectancy gap uh, by at least half, uh, reduce the gap in housing deprivation by at least one third, uh, cutting the gap in participation and in an early childhood education by at least half, or cutting the gap employment, uh, the gap in gender employment uh, by at least uh, half. Uh, next slide, please. Yeah, and uh, in this slide, we can see only a few examples uh, from uh, the uh, proposed council recommendation uh, commission proposal for council recommendations. Uh, for example, combat and, uh, and prevent, prevent uh, potential, out, potential outbreaks in marginalized or remote Roma localities is also one of the measures uh, recommended to the member states, uh, promote access to medical studies for Roma people and encourage recruitment of Roma as health practitioners and mediators, particularly in uh, regions with a significant Roma uh, population. Um, we also encourage member states to fight digital exclusion of Roma in access to healthcare services, uh, prevent and eliminate segregated healthcare services and ensure recognition and uh, rep reparation for past injustices, including already mentioned for sterilization of Roma women. Uh, equal access uh, without barriers to quality healthcare services, especially uh, for those groups that are most at risk and those living in marginalized and remote uh, uh, localities. Next slide, please. Let me now highlight some of the most important new elements of this uh, reformed and reinforced EU Roma strategic framework. First of all, uh, this uh, new strategic framework gives a strong focus on diversity among Roma. It aims to ensure that national strategies meet the specific needs of different groups, such as Roma women, youth, children, EU mobile citizens, stateless people, LGBTI people, uh, older Roma, as well as those living with disabilities. It also encourages intersectional approach the new strategic framework uh, also reaches out to all Roma, regardless of their socioeconomic status. 
this approach uh, simply recognizes that all Roma can experience discrimination, including those who do not suffer socioeconomic ex exclusion. And uh, it also acknowledges that inclusion is a two-way process in which both sides need to make an effort. This is why uh, the new strategic framework targets uh, not only Roma, but all of society. The new strategic framework gives also a stronger focus to combine the mainstreaming of Roma inclusion across relevant policy areas with targeted measures, which uh, support an effective equal access of Roma to rights and services. And in addition, it also aims to accommodate differences between EU countries while increasing commitment and accountability it therefore adopts a common but also differentiated approach among member states. Slide, please. In conclusion, I would like to give you an overview of the main elements of this new initiative, which consists of uh, three main components. First one is communication with two annexes, which provides guidance for national strategies and portfolio of indicators to allow monitoring process. Proposal for Council recommendation, which guidance for concrete measures to achieve EU objectives and targets. And the staff working document, which provides a detailed presentation of the analytical, methodological and the contextual basis of this new initiative. Slide, please. So thank you very much for your attention and I'm looking forward uh, for the discussion.